Of the four Hendrick Motorsports cars, three are in the top 12, and three have been to Victory Lane this season. That leaves just one car out of the loop, and that one car just so happens to be driven by the most popular driver. Dale Earnhardt Jr. But things are now changing for Jr. He's got a new crew chief and the focus of the entire HMS organization is now on making sure that one driver finds the same success as the other three. ESPN NASCAR pit reporter Jamie Little is with us this weekend. What's being said today about Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s new crew chief? Well, Nicole, Dale Earnhardt Jr. took to the track for the first time this morning without his cousin and longtime crew chief Tony Urey Jr. Instead, it was the team manager, Brian Weitzel. Now, the two worked together well. They communicated well, according to Jr. And despite being 25th on the charts, he seemed like he was in pretty good spirits and pretty optimistic about the change and the future. We really have everything we need, and hopefully... Um, with a new attitude and 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 different type a different type of communication and a different approach entirely to going to the racetrack obviously with someone else leading the team it's going to all be different hopefully that'll work and hopefully that'll get us what we want replacing junior will be a two-step process sunday at dover team manager brian weitzel will take the reins of the 88 car and next week in pocono lance mcgrew will be in the hot seat as the interim crew chief for the foreseeable future we don't know exactly what is going to work, but we're going to make sure that something does. And, and however that is or whoever adjusts or adapts, you know, that's what we're going to work on. Well, obviously, there's a lot of pressure here and, uh, because it is Dell Jr. and because it is such a big deal uh, that, you know, constantly being under the microscope, having millions of people listen to what you say on the radio, obviously, you have to be aware of that. You know, eventually, I'm going to be the one that has to answer to the, to the fact of, uh, how much did I live up to my father's name and how much did I live up to his wins and everything that he accomplished and um, how much did I live up to everyone else's expectations and uh, all my fans. Opinions on the move aren't limited to the 88 team. Junior doesn't run well, then uh, he's going to be the problem again. So, uh, you know, it's never Junior, it's always a crew chief. And Dale Jr. was asked about that comment by Kyle Busch. He said he wasn't surprised that Kyle's always had a chip on his shoulder for him. Now, Jr. went on to say he does have the best equipment in NASCAR. And when you couple that with the Earnhardt namesake, there's a lot of expectations by everyone. And now that that crew chief change has finally been made in some people's eyes, well, they're all going to be watching for Junior on Sunday because you look at it, there really is no place to look other than the driver's seat if this success doesn't come to this team within the next couple of weeks. And Jamie, Rick Hendricks said yesterday that the entire organization needs to see Junior succeed. And with this swap, Junior should now have all of the tools to make that happen. What's been the reaction from his three teammates? I believe they all think the same thing, and there's no doubt. And all three of the teammates today, they seem to sympathize with Dale Jr.'s situation. And they said, you know, they want him to succeed as well and think that he can get back on track. Dale Jr.'s situation has build, been building since uh, late summer last year. And you get to a certain point where you know, in order for things to get better, you have to make a change. And it sort of puts everybody on edge. When the results aren't there and the effort is there, it is a hard world to live in. And, you know, they're, they're both doing all that they can, and sometimes you have to shake things up. And uh, that's what, what's going on right now. I think that we're overcomplicating this situation, you know, probably because it's junior. It's, uh, it's something that, as a race car driver, you know, you just got to get your confidence back, and that, that happens with the setups and the cars and the personnel that surround you. If you have confidence in your organization, that certainly helps. That narrows down the focus as to where you where you got to go. And, and, you know, I, I love Tony Urey Jr. I, I, I think he's a great crew chief, but obviously there was some chemistry uh, that, that was lost there, a little bit of confidence. Now... Now, Brian Weitzel was the interim crew chief for Jeff Gordon, if you remember, back to 1999 when a Ray Evernham stepped down. Now, they won in their first outing together and went on to win two races out of seven. So he did a lot with Jeff Gordon, so a lot of people are going to be watching to see what he can do with Dale Jr. on Sunday. ESPN NASCAR pit reporter Jamie Little, thank you very much. And we want to know what you think. Will Dale Earnhardt Jr. win a race now that he has a new crew chief? 
Log on to ESPN.com. Check out the NASCAR page. Cast your vote. We'll have the results later on in the show. And coming up a little bit later, more reaction to the Dale Earnhardt Jr. crew chief swap from our guys in the booth, including reaction from Dale Earnhardt Sr.'s crew chief when he won those championships a few years ago. That would be Andy Petrie. That is coming up. But coming Saturday. RCR has tried swapping crew chiefs as a way to right the ship with Kevin Harvick and Casey Mears. Their teammate Jeff Burton, who starts 32nd Sunday, says it is a trick that often works. Well, I think it's really important. I mean, it's, uh, you know, obviously if the crew chief and the driver have to be working together. They uh, they don't always have to agree. They, matter of fact, it's good to disagree. But you got to be working together. You, but you got to have results. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a result-oriented business. And, uh, you know, you got to have results. So it's a, it's tough to change in midstream. It's hard to, uh, it's hard to, you know, you go to battle together. You support each other. You have a lot of, uh, there's a lot of feelings there. And uh, to make that change is really difficult. But, you know, it happens to everybody. And you just got to gotta forge on. Coming up next, will it work? That's the big question surrounding the changes at the 88. More reaction when we come back. Biggest news earlier this week, Tony Uri Jr. out as Daryl Earnhardt Jr.'s crew chief and his team manager Brian Whitesell. This week it will be Lance McGrew on an interim basis starting next week at Pocono. It is McGrew's job. For more on if this change will make a difference for Junior, we head back to Dover for our guys in the pit studio. Alan Bestwick, Dale Jarrett, and Andy Petrie. Well, like a baseball manager that's replaced someone with a ball club or a football coach that gets sent in, each of those gentlemen has to figure out the best way to get the most out of his players. In this case, the player is Dale Earnhardt Jr. The new coach is the new crew chief, Lance McGrew, who takes over next week. Andy Petrie, you were sent in to crew chief with Dale Earnhardt Sr. at Richard Childress Racing. Dale Jarrett, you've been through some of these changes before as a driver. How does Lance McGrew go in and figure out how to get the most out of this new player that's in his charge? Well, I think he has a job in front of him. The best thing he can do is give him good race cars, and I think that's going to be an adjustment. All Everybody out there is thinking, okay, this is going to be the quick fix for Dale Jr. He's going to run great this weekend, and the, the race is coming up. This could take a while because Dale Jr. is going to have to figure out how to give information back on something that really is different than what he's been driving. But Lance McGrew is a good crew chief. He's someone that is a good people person, too, and I think those skills are very important here. I also think he's going to be somebody that's going to command a little more respect out of Dale Earnhardt Jr. Uh, not a family type relationship and uh, you know that may have been one of the things that held back Jr. in this operation in the past and I think that they'll come with that and that communication is so key. These guys are going to have to get to know each other uh, and when they say okay the car's loose or how he says that and how much degree there's a lot of things involved in that communication and, and the chemistry part of this it might not happen overnight but Lance McGrew might be the right guy for Jr. now. I'll go back to your time when you started to work with Dale Earnhardt Sr. How'd you know how hard you could push him? How's Lance going to know how hard he can push Junior? Yeah, that's a good question, Alan, because we really did. Uh, Dale and I, Sr., we bumped heads quite a few times in the beginning. I almost quit in the very first part of the season of the first year, but we finally uh, we, we came to a point where we said, okay, this is your role. I'm going to be the crew chief. You're going to be the driver, and we're going to do. We're going to be. Earnhardt. We're going to share these responsibilities. We're not just going to be one-sided. And and it was a respect thing. I think once I got his respect, then we started to be successful. Yeah, and I think uh, from Dale Jr.'s side, of, from the driver's side, what you have to say is, you know, this guy's here to help me. We're working on this together. Uh, he's not here to make me look bad. He's make, here to help me look good and do the things we know that we're capable of doing and for me to showcase my talents. And I think Dale Jr. realizes that he, this position that they put him in now is a lot on his shoulders. He has to go out there and take responsibility for a lot of this, too. It wasn't just all Tony Jr. as far as the problem. It, it was everybody involved. So he's excited about this. I talked with him this morning. He's really looking forward forward to this opportunity and ready to get back to running up front. Be interesting to see how it all works out. This weekend, Brian Weitzel temporarily in with Dale Earnhardt Jr. here at Dover. Then on to next weekend, Lance McGrew takes over as the man calling the shots for NASCAR's most popular driver. And a uh, reaction to that change is all over on ESPN.com. Ed Hinted writes that Junior Nation is all the flutter that this change will snap Junior out of this slump. And he's going to gather momentum and roar into the chase. The problem is, this is Hinton's words, he says junior fans will be highly disappointed. You can check that out on ESPN.com. This weekend, Circus heads to Dover. But we ask you this earlier in the show, Dale Earnhardt Jr., will he win this season? It's our poll question of the day, and check it out. 55% of you say yes, he will. But will that mean he makes it to chase? Perhaps that's a poll question for later on. 
Like I said, we go into Dover this